welcome back to my channel so today uh, I'm going to show you how to marinate chicken and I'm going to do just basic I have a few ingredients here this is Rico I'll be using garam masala I'll be using uh, flour and then eggs I've already beaten the eggs and then I'll also be using paprika so here are the chicken they are drying here i've just sprinkled garam masala and the roiko already so this is the flour guys since i don't have a, a refrigerator uh I've, i was supposed to soak them to marinate them overnight sorry yeah to marinate them overnight yeah for the meat to absorb the the spices but now i'm just doing a shortcut because I'm preparing them for lunch and I can't wait so I'll just I've just put them like this and then I'll wait for some time and then I'll I'll dip them here and then after that I come and and dip them here it's a mixture of of flour and also just roiko again and then finally I'll put them here so when you are deep frying you have to ensure that your oil is well cooked and for you to know that it is well cooked this is what I normally do I waft like it should go to the nose like you do like this and then you'll hear the smell of the of the oil it will tell you that it is ready there's a way it's supposed to smell I don't know how to call it but that's how it should be so now uh, we have started the process of uh, dipping them inside that you see now the the oil is ready so we put uh, we'll put them inside the eggs and then we put them here and then we dip it again so don't worry I have a personal assistant. <laughs> yeah, I have a personal assistant. I had done my part, so now it's, it's the personal assistant's time to do his part. Uh, I'll, I'll be turning them. Uh, I'm waiting for them to turn a bit golden brown. Then I turn. Yeah, the aroma is so nice. How I wish you are here, you'd have seen. But just be patient and you'll see the end result. Okay, so uh, you see, like for this, for this one, we, I'm already turning it. You see, it's, it has started changing color. It's golden brown, just like I said. And then this other one. And then also these ones, uh, I'm bringing KFC in the house. And then this one. This other one also. This one has, is not yet, so I'll leave it. This one also is okay. Yeah. Then you wait. Yeah, then you wait uh, for the other side also to turn brown. If it's okay, it's if it turns brown, then now you can remove them. Yeah, and then you serve. But for now, we love to wait a bit because and keep on checking so that they don't burn. Like this one is almost. This other one. Not yet. Not yet. So you wait a bit. Yeah, and then you check. They are now ready and I want to remove them. Yeah. I'll show you once I'm done removing them. Okay, so I have already removed them. So yeah. They look yummy, don't they? So I want to put a second bunch. Yeah. So I'm transferring them here so that they 
there to keep them warm uh, before I finish cooking so that we enjoy them when it's hot yeah in the meantime uh, I also want to make some kachumbari we'll serve it with it and then yeah I'll cook rice after that so I've already sliced the tomatoes the onions now I want to grate the carrot and then I mix them in the meantime I want to soak these onions in hot water and salt to remove the bitterness of the onions and then I will mix them later so I've already grated the carrots they are here and I've already soaked the onions in warm water and salt and then I'll mix them I'm giving the onions some time and then I'll mix them finally the second bunch is also ready there are just three pieces yeah and now it's time to cook rice so now uh, I'm cooking rice it's already ready I just want to remove it and then after that now I want I'm mixing the kachumbari uh, with the together so that it forms a very nice uh, what kachumbari <laughs> yeah and then now I've already sliced the avocado because I also want to make avocado juice you look the way they look interesting mom brought them from home and now I want to blend yeah I've cut them into small small pieces and then there is water that I want to use yeah and the blender so I want to blend them together and then after that we just enjoy yeah so apparently most people normally sieve their juices but for me some juices I don't sieve like avocado juice uh, really I don't see I like it like that uh, I only see maybe mango juice only if it's it has a lot of uh, cellulose yeah so I'm putting sugar and then I serve uh, I know most of you are curious about why the two glasses but I told you I had a PA, <laughs> so the PA is also cut out for. It's time to enjoy. So the meat is here. Uh, I've made avocado juice, and then the kachumbari is here. I'm serving rice, and then I enjoy my lunch. So. Uh, my meal is ready uh, it's time to enjoy yeah um, even the rice is here I normally like cooking uh, crazy stuff over the weekend like nice stuff so that I enjoy and also to keep me busy as I also learn new things yeah so join me for lunch and enjoy so I have avocado juice, my kachumbari, the chicken, and the rice. It's amazing or delicious. Yeah. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Okay, so it's time to enjoy my meal. Join me if you want. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you're new here, it's a the, tra the traveling lawyer. And thank you so much for being my fans. Uh, we are now on the road to 300 subscribers. Yay! Adios!